Welcome to SageFrame video trainings and in this video you will learn how to build a page in SageFrame. Once you are logged into SageFrame dashboard as an administrator or a super user, you need to click on the pages icon to be able to add a page uh, to SageFrame. Uh, which takes you to page management interface. Now you need to select portal pages option to add pages to the portal. Likewise, you can select admin pages to add uh, pages to the admin. I'm selecting portal pages as I wish to add page to the portal itself. In the page details tab, into the page name that you wish to add. Enter a caption which acts as a tagline to a page in the menu. You can assign the page to any parent pages in the drop down or choose option none to set the page itself as a parent page. Enter the refresh interval for the page or you may also leave it to default value. Well, this is an optional field, so I have the uh, field as empty. Choose an icon for the page which can specially help you to create an icon menu which will be displayed on the navigation bar of the website. Included menu is an optional field. Now, if you click on the checkbox, you can see the drop down list of various menu options. When you don't want to assign the page to any menu, it will remain in the site as a hidden menu link to other pages. But I'm selecting the main menu option right here. The page title, description, and keywords are for the search engine optimization purpose of the page. Now, page title appears in the title bar of any browser. Well, you need to enter a short description about the page. And finally, put in some keywords, which is used by browsers and search engines to find your page. Now, what's really slick about SageFrame version 2 is that unlike the earlier version, you can easily set the page permissions while adding the page itself. Now, if you are an admin user or super user, you can control the view or edit of the pages depending on users and roles by clicking on the check boxes just like that. Once you have finished updating all fields, click the save button and the newly added page will rest along with the list of other pages on the left pane of the dashboard. Click on the preview option to view the page on the front end. And there we have the newly added page along with the icon and the tagline. Next up, let me show you to add content to the news page by assigning modules to it as we have a blank page right now. For this, go back to your SageStream control panel and click on Page Modules icon and you will quickly be prompted to an interface to manage modules. Quickly select the page from the Pages drop down. As you can see, SageFrame page module provides a template-based wireframe for each pages. You can assign modules to the wireframe by simple drag and drop and create a personalized layout. So select a module from the left pane consisting of various modules options. Drag and drop the module to an appropriate pane. I've selected the HTML module. Subsequently, set the module basic details and permissions. On the module basics tab, the first field we have here is module name, which is the name of the module in use. On module title field, put in the name of the module to appear in the wireframe. Paint name is where module is positioned at. Header text is an optional field. However, if you want to show the module as a header in the front end, make sure to click on this checkbox. I want to leave the field as it is. Module suffix class is also an optional field. Uh, this field is especially meant for designers in cases when they have to work on the design of the page. Click on the is active checkbox to have the module visible in the front end. You want to click on all checkbox to display the module in all pages or click on the customized checkbox and select pages on which you want to display the specific modules. Well, I'm going to leave both the fields unchecked. Open clicking on inherit permissions from page 
checkbox, the module will automatically inherit the permissions to which the page is allocated. Click on Do not show this pop-up again checkbox to avoid module details pop-up when they are dragged and drop. If you have clicked on this checkbox, you need to refresh the page to show the module pop-up overlay again. Next up, click on the Permissions tab and give View and Edit Permissions depending on users and roles. I want all my users to view the page and only the site admin to have the edit permissions. We have finished setting up all fields, so quickly hit the Save button to apply the module to this page. To view the added module, refresh the page and you can see there is an inline editor icon which lets you manage the content through front-end itself. The inline editor saves the time from having to navigate to each pages in dashboard for simple modifications. The users with edit permission can also make changes to the module's content. Now, quickly add some content to this HTML module and save the content. You will receive a notification that the content has been updated successfully. And you can see the content on the page. So this is how you can create a page and add content to it by assigning modules. As you already know, there are lists of modules in SaySpring library, so choose the best modules to suit your needs and create a personalized page. To learn about creating and managing modules, you can refer to our YouTube channel and search for the video with the same titles. This concludes our video for building a page. Again, this is Issue with Sales from Video Trainings. Hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.